So I'm John Martin. I'm the Senior Director of Production Engineering here at Edmunds. Edmunds is in the business of empowering the automotive consumer. Uh, we're looking to provide information to anybody that's interested in buying a new car, connecting with a dealer, uh, looking for information about a car that they already own. So our production runway is comprised of JVMs um, uh, with, a, with roughly 25 to 30 different web applications. Uh, it's backed by Oracle WebLogic, um, the Apache Tomcat server, um, Apache Solar Instances, as well as Oracle Coherence. Edmunds is a, is, a, is a DevOps cultured environment. And it's necessary that whenever an event is occurring in production, that the operations teams are able to feed back data to the development staff that is uh, really data driven. You know, we can't just go on our gut that, hey, this thing has crashed, you know, X number of times. We think that it might be because of this. That's really difficult for an engineer to be able to construct some sort of resolution against. Um, so a, a tool like AppDynamics in a production environment is going to be able to gather up the data that's necessary to get to true incident resolution. It was a requirement for us that whatever application monitoring solution we chose, that it introduced very little overhead in our production runways. Uh, the idea of, a, of an application monitor should really be to monitor, not to intrude. So uh, we're very concerned with the responsiveness of our website. Um, it, we're very aware of the fact that uh, a slow performing site can potentially mean customer abandonment. Um, so, you know, we, we really pride ourselves on having a website that is, you know, responsive in, in you know, uh, approximately a 75 to 150 millisecond uh, first byte time. So uh, anything that we can do to get that sort of information out of our applications to make certain that we're hitting that mark is, is of value to us. Uh, we were originally using Wiley Interscope for um, uh, deep method inspections. And one of the reasons that it, that it ultimately didn't pan out for us was because of the requirement that we actually tell it that a particular event is occurring and we needed to know more about that event. It, it, it becomes difficult whenever you don't know that a particular type of event is about to happen. And so you go to your APM and you say, okay, now, now pay attention. Now, now give me some more. Um, and, and so something like AppDynamics where it detects that event and goes, hey, something interesting is going on. I'm going to collect more data for you. That, that was a little more in line of, of the type of solution we were looking for. Uh, we did look at uh, AppDynamics and Dynatrace. Um, we briefly tossed around the idea of going to revisit Wiley, but I think you know the, the original implementation had probably just left a bad taste in our mouth to the point that um, it, it came down to, to you know the, the, the two bigger competitors in the market. Dynatrace had these had similar limitations as Wiley did, and that was that we had to tell it what it was that we wanted it to inspect. You know, App Dynamics intelligence to just go, hey, this is probably useful to you. You might want to take a look at this was a far better solution than us going, hey, that looks useful to us. Would you go gather up the info that we might need? App Dynamics is is right for anybody that one doesn't have a clear picture of what's happening in their environment, um, has a has a very large or distributed infrastructure. It's absolutely necessary so that you're not having to try to figure out, you know, monitoring all of these multiple endpoints through um, uh, some of the uh, rudimentary tools like JConsole or Visual VM that are that are that are useful for for monitoring a single application, but in a distributed architecture, you've got to think about something different. And uh, AppDynamics was was perfect for that.